It's a lot of things we do in life that, that we don't want to do, but we have to until we get to a certain point in our life and say, you know what? <laughs> I can live my life. You know, many years I worked for other people. Many years I put a lot of money in other people's pockets, you know, not because I wanted to, but because I had to. I had no choice. It's all started from a love of a father trying to support his ill child, you know. I only got into boxing because of my, my daughter that was born with spina bifida. She came from a lone place. She came, yeah, she came uh, very far, you know, from, from what doctors said that she would maybe never be able to do, like walk or, or have a natural childhood ability of learning. But she's amazing. She's doing, she, oh man, I'm so proud of my daughter. It allows me to continue to be strong in, in boxing, you know. <laughs> it's like we feed off of each other's strengths. She's very smart. She's running around. She's doing whatever. She's just becoming a 13 year old. She's becoming a teenager. She's like, she like her own space. She like to do what she like to do, you know. And, um, you know, I'm just very proud of her. Push, 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 push. There you go. Get back in. There you go. Now they're my motivations to everything. That's why I say no man in the square ring is gonna be able to beat me because I wear my, I bring my children with me. You know, <laughs> they're stuck in my heart. I've already promised them that and I gotta keep my promise. It ain't nothing personal for no fighter in the industry. I want everyone to make money. I want everyone to be successful and have a great life. But when it comes to me, I bring something different. You're not just fighting me, you know, you fight me plus my children. This is a private school. My kids go here, uh, the private school. So sometimes I'll, they uh, sneak in on me or whatever they allow the teachers to sneak in. You know, I love this school. Um, they teach my kids life. It's a very Christian, private Christian school. Very quiet and we like the nature. We can go anywhere. We got a lot of places that we can train around here, easy. But we choose to come here. First it was Naya, my oldest. Now I have six. Really, my fiance have one, so that makes seven in all. I want one more to make a. I want, I want eight in all. I want a. I want a full basketball team with three subs. <laughs> Recently, my seven-year-old told her teacher that she wished I can just be a dad and not be who everybody else, you know, be this big person that everybody else look at me as. She always say because he can't never go nowhere. People are always stopping and talking to him and stuff like that. And then my three-year-old came behind her and said, yeah, uh, we just want, we just love him as a father. <laughs> They're very aware of what's going on and what I do, you know. They know I knock people out. And uh, they love to see that, but they never want to see daddy get knocked out. And for me knowing that, it allows me to stay strong. It's allowed me to have a strong mindset in the, in the ring. None of my kids will want to see me do what I do to other guys. So I make sure that don't happen. So when your daughters start to date, what happens then? Do you have to interview the, the guys? My tradition is going to be every guy my daughter meets, they're going to have to spar me. They're going to have to at least give me three <laughs> rounds. Three rounds or less. What, what if they don't me. survive? If they don't survive, they can't date my daughter <laughs> because they're going to tell me how tough they are. You know, I'm going to need someone that's going to be able to protect my daughter, that's going to be there, that's going to have heart, that's going to be brave, that's going to have courage. I don't want my daughter with a weak man because my mindset is too strong. I'm a king. So with that being said, I want to create, I want to be able to pass the torch down to somebody that's going to be able to be able to take care of my, my, my little queen. What age is that going to be? When can they first start dating? 18. 18. <laughs> Let's get this last one. <laughs> Let's get this last one here, bro. Maybe 18. Yeah. <laughs>